Hi, how are you doing today? So in this video today, we are going to share with you the new concept that we have learned about the comp exam and how we have managed to score 971 marks out of 1000. I believe this is great and uh, it's worth sharing with people. So first of all, we are going to start by trying to make a comp exam round one decision. And also after that, we are going to give you tips on making comp exam round two decision. We'll also get the tips for comp exam round three answers and comp exam round four answers as well. So this video is a full package of what you need to do so that you can make the best in your class when it comes to comp exam. So without further wasting any time, you can start with R&D in round one. And this also applies to R&D round two, R&D round three and R&D round four answers. So this is something that is full package. So if you get, um, you follow this clearly, I believe uh, you'll be sorted all through the game and I will have no any trouble making decision. So if we go to R&D right now, we start with our first product, which is aft. This is uh, an elite market segment product. So I'll give uh, aft 14.2, uh, that is it for performance and uh, reduce its size to 8.2. Our next product is Agape. This is a thrift market segment product. You can have it uh, performance of 6.7 and uh, reduce its size to 13.5. Our next product is uh, Abi. This is a co-product. You can give it a performance of 9.4 and reduce its size to 10.8. For Adam, this is an uh, a nano product, we can have a 12.1 and a size of 6.2. So I know you are wondering where we are getting these values. So these values are informed by the market segment specific needs. So uh, in each segment, uh, for example, in thrift, uh, we can see like the price is the most important thing. So this is one thing that we consider mostly. And also the second thing that is most important is the reliability. So as you can see here, uh, our drink product is uh, Agape. We are giving customer the maximum, which is uh, 20,000. Uh, when you do this, now you are sure that you'll get the largest share of this 20%. And um, also when you give best price, you'll also get the highest percentage of this 55%. So if we go to uh, core market segment, the same apply here. The price is the most important thing. Then the second thing is the age. So uh, when we go to a nano market segment, the same the same thing apply. Ideal position is the most important thing, followed by price, then age. So that is the main reason why we are making these changes. So to make sure that the customers are getting the best uh, performance for each product as well as size and then the reliability. Another thing that you need to check while making the research and development decision is the perceptual map. You need to make sure that uh, each product is within the boundary of each uh, market segment. If the product uh, move out, outside each uh, circle for a specific market segment, we are not going to sell um, the required number or the adequate number to make you make a profit. Again, also, there's um, points for product count. You can see it in the balance score card. Here you can see we have product count. And uh, because now we are only having the original product, which are four, so we are not getting the maximum points. We are only getting 2.3. We want to maximize these points. And that is the reason why from this round, we'll start introducing your product. So I'll go back to R&D. When it comes to introducing new product, you need to guess any name as long as you start with an A. Because we are company Andrew. In round one, we'll introduce three. Because if we introduce four, we'll make a loss in round one and we don't want that. Okay, here yeah, we we'll give it a performance of 12. We want it to be a crossover product. And then a size of 8.0. Reliability, we're going to give it um, 22,000. Um, 
for annex we are going to make it a, a nano segment product we'll give it a performance of um, 13.1 and size of 5.2 reliability of 24,000 uh, for our third product in combat zone 2023 this is IEL uh, it's quite difficult to pronounce that name because I've just made it up but uh, it's okay because it starts with an N and we are required, uh, the one requirement to introduce a new product is to match the first letter with that letter of the company. So our company is Andrew, so all our products should start with the letter A to avoid confusion. And that's it, we are done with making decision for R&D. Uh, Combat exam round 1, 2023. We can go ahead and start uh, making decision for our next segment. We can go straight to TQM. I really find it uh, very easy and quite uh, better if you can your second decision making section to be the TQM because it will really help us to understand the positioning and also when our product will come out because um, something like um, concurrent engineering and uh, quality function deployment are known to reduce the R&D cycle time. So when we reduce the R&D cycle time, our product will come out earlier and we'll have like uh, at least three months of selling the modified product to our customers. Another thing about TQM is that it will help us to increase demand, reduce material cost and also reduce the labor cost. If we reduce the cost of production, the overall profit is likely to improve. Okay, now we are done with the R&D and TQM. We can go straight to marketing section. So here uh, we can maintain the same price for our product because in a uh, elite market segment price is not that important. So customers are willing to pay uh, premium price for premium quality product. And uh, as we have seen, we have given them the a sensor with the highest performance and um, lowest size possible compared to any other in the market currently. So if we charge them uh, 46, sorry 42, that's still great. For our other pay, the reason why we had a large inventory of, uh, what is it, let's just confirm. Large inventory of uh, 756 is because our price was quite high compared to our competitors. Uh, when you go to three uh, top products in the three market segment, you can see DOT, they were charging $19 in the previous round. BID were charging $20 and Agape, we had uh, $26. This is too much. So we need to reduce to $20 or less. But $20 is just good depending on our capacity currently. Um, for RB, we also need to reduce the price. We reduce to $30. The lower the price, the higher the demand. Uh, the law of demand also applies here. So here uh, we project to sell 870. Here we can sell 1880. Here 1870. And here maybe 890. So I know you are wondering where we are getting these figures. So this one we calculate. And uh, we have a video specifically designed to show you how you can collect, calculate your forecast. So kindly consider checking that video. I'll attach it on the video description. And um, it will really help you to make a correct focus. In CAPSIMA and COMPEX um, focusing is one of, of the most important thing. So if you get this correctly, you are likely to avoid uh, emergency loan. So make sure you take a good note of how you do your forecasting. And make sure you project the you project it very correctly so that um, you will end up having the lowest inventory and also highest uh, cash return. Because with high inventory, your cash return will drop significantly. So uh, now let's go to production. So in Convex um, 2023, production um, is a uh, dependent on the marketing decision because whatever your units focus um, 
you are having is brought here and it will inform you on what you're going to put in the production schedule. Uh, it's short to usually put in production schedule uh, amount above uh, forecast and also we take note of the inventory at hand. Usually um, it is required that uh, you subtract the inventory at hand to ensure that um, you have like exact figure based on what you focus but uh, actually what you focus and what you are producing what you are producing need to be quite a bit higher compared to what you focus to, to sell so that uh, in case the demand is higher than what you expected you don't you will not end up uh, stocking out because you lose point while stocking out but you lose you will not lose point by having decent amount of inventory at hand at the end of each round So here let's try, uh, we can try 800 and let's just produce 70 so that you can have at least inventory of something maybe 50 at the end of this round. Here because you are having a very large inventory of 756 units, uh, let's project to, let's uh, produce just a little bit, uh, maybe let's try 1250. Sorry, 12, 8, 10. And this means that um, we'll meet our focus and also we will meet the extra demand, demand in case we tend to have more demand than what we are projected. Here, let's try 2050. Here, you can try. Uh, Okay, here we we'll try 350. So for other pay, we need to have the highest automation because here customers are expecting a lowest price as possible. So for you to enjoy lowest price, you need to cut down labor cost and you can only do that by automating. All right, uh, we are done with the production department. Now we can go to human resource. So human resource is the easiest one to do. So here, just make sure you spend the maximum and also provide the maximum training hours per employee. That is uh, 500, 5,080 respectively. Uh, having done that, um, we need to go and find the finances to finance our production and our activity. And in finance department, before you do anything, you need to check the balance scorecard. Make sure you know where you need to change. For example, you can see here, days of working capital are having zero, and our leverage is 5.6. We want to have six and uh, four out of four, respectively. So let's now go to ratio. And uh, we can see our days of working capital is one, and we need to uh, we need at least thirty. Uh, back to finance. Let's take a loan, long term loan. Of the maximum amount offered, which is fourteen thousand, which is fourteen thousand seven twenty two, and also we need to borrow. We can try with uh, twenty thousand. 
we are not offering stock because we do not want to dilute our equity. Okay, let's see. Balance co card, we are having 6. Test back capital, we have 2.8 out of 4. Total points is 62.8. So we still need to check something and improve. And uh, that is uh, specifically the support capital. So let's see, now we are having 26. We need at least 30. Back to finance. Let's start here. Yeah. Balance co card. Now you are having 3 out of 4, total 63 out of 0.2 out of 8. Total 63.2 out of 8. This is a, a good score. And um, I think that's all right. Uh, I believe of, at the end of this round, we'll have like more than 65 out of 8. And that's enough. And we will surely guarantee us to get at least 971 out of 8. Sorry, 971 out of 1,000 points. So this is our current video for 2023 comp exam. And I believe when you follow this video exactly and use our number, you're going to get almost the same points in the current round, which is round one. For round two, comp exam 2023. Round three, comp exam 2023. Uh, comp exam 2023, round four. And uh, the final. I believe when you, you follow the same procedure we are using, you are going to score the highest point possible. So in this section, we are going to do comp exam recap. Uh, in short, we are going to revisit like um, um, what customers need in this ma in each market segment, and we are going to analyze how we have been able to use this information to make decision from uh, comp exam round one, comp exam round two, comp exam round three, and comp exam round four. So when we go to drift market segment. Uh, price is the most important thing and 55% uh, of the customers in this market segment will be looking for the price that you are charging for your product and price between $14, $14 per unit to $26,000 sorry $14 per unit to $26 per unit is very important so ensure your price not only is competitive uh, with regard to other companies products in that market segment but also ranges between $14 and $26 so the second important thing when it comes to thrift market segment is reliability reliability of between 14,000 and 20,000 this is 20 percent important and this means like 20 percent of customer in that market will be looking at the reliability that you have offered in your product and here again the company that has the highest reliability is going to carry the day all right uh, for us we go for broad differentiation and this is not an, the, an issue because in all market segment we usually go for the highest reliability ideal position and finally age of three years so this means for drift market segment product uh, we are not going to be very aggressive in uh, reversing the product for example you can revise the product in um, round one then uh, omit a uh, uh, revising it in round two then you can revise in round three and then omit in round four this will ensure that uh, your product uh, each year has an edge closer to three years uh, it will be quite difficult for you to get an edge that is exact three years because um, when you revise the product the current edge is divided divided by two so it is not uh, possible for you always to have like uh, six and then you divide and get three sometimes you can have 2.6 sometimes you can have more than three but that's not uh, the problem as long as uh, you ensure that your product age is closer to three years and that's all for thrift uh, segment let's go to core market segment for core market segment again price is the most important thing and customer here are looking for a price between 20 and 32 dollars again you need to check the competitiveness of that uh, market segment while making this decision so ensure that uh, your price not only is competitive but also competitive with regard to those charged by others um for core product uh, the second uh, important thing uh, is uh, age uh, they expecting an age of two years so again uh, don't be too aggressive in pricing so that you can attain an age that uh, at least is closer to two years this is 20 percent important uh, the third item is reliability 
of uh, between 16,000 and 22,000. This is 18% important. And so ensure that um, you give the maximum. This is based of uh, the strategy that you are using. If you'll be using the strategy that uh, is similar to us, which is uh, broad differentiation, then you'll give the maximum. And then uh, finally, you have a deal position. Just revise, don't be too aggressive. You'll get uh, something closer to two years. It will never be two years, but it will be something closer to that. Now let's go to nano market segment. And in nano market segment, ideal position comes first. Be aggressive in uh, reversing your product. Maybe you can increase the performance by one, reduce by the size by one. Um, for the second thing, um, price is the most important. The second most important thing. Customers are expecting a price of between twenty-eight and uh, forty dollars per unit. And the third thing is the age of one year. Again, when you reverse aggressively, you are going to get an age that is closer to one, but it will never be one year, but it will be closer to one year. And finally, reliability. Again, if you are going to use broad differentiation or any other differentiation pro, uh, strategy, give the maximum, which is 24,000. Uh, finally, let's go to LA product. The most important thing is the age. Customer is expecting here. Uh, a newer product with an edge closer to zero so ensure that um, you give them that um, the second uh, important thing is the price between 30 and 42 which is 24 percent important and then the that thing is a uh, ideal position ensure that um, you revise your product aggressively you can do it by increasing the performance by one reducing size by one or you can try maybe 1.2 1.2 but ensure whatever you do your product are revised when revised will come not later than october so that you can have at least three months of selling that product and final reliability again here uh, as we have said uh, let's give the maximum if you are doing any differentiation strategy it can be broad differentiation it can be niche differentiation okay uh, that's all for Come exam recap. In case you have any question, kindly consider commenting below and we'll get back to you. If you need help with the comp exam, kindly um, WhatsApp us. We have provided the WhatsApp link on the video description. You can also email us, but we prefer WhatsApp because it's quite easier uh, to see the message and reply it uh, on time. Uh, now uh, we are done with the comp exam. I know you are now wondering where will you get the answers for the comp exam board query questions. We have those answers on our website. Uh, you just need to search for Plus Academic as you can see on your screen. And then you, when you enter our website, you can click on the question. When you are in this page, you can just uh, um, uh, control F and then you'll find, you'll, you'll search your keyword and it'll take you to the question that is related to yours. So yeah, uh, as you can see, when you check these questions, they both have answers and um, also the formula that were used to get to those answers. Uh, before you get uh, to that, you'll need to sign up and uh, when you log in, you'll get these answers for free. So that's all for uh, board query. In case you have any question also with regard to your board query, you can also get back to us and we'll try as much as possible to be of help to you. Again, if you need help, uh, if you have any issue completing a comp exam, you can WhatsApp us and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. That's all for today. Um, have a nice time.